Alrighty, folks, welcome to the USA Dart stream here. Got an entertaining recorded match for you to start off our day at the Las Vegas Open. Should be a doozy as it's going to be Jeff Smith and his manager, Will Razer? Razer, Razero. Razero, okay. Taking on Jules Van Dongen and Simon Whitlock. Oh my, is this going to be a doozy of a well, match? I think a few of them have walked across the. Pally Pally. <laughs> just, just a couple. Just a couple. <laughs> and we're going to play good old-fashioned cricket with these guys. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, scoreboard's just getting ready to pop up. Let's go ahead and uh, pull that one up for you all. And we're off to the races. Uh, so only this, a three this is the interesting yeah. thing that I've thought about. It's like, okay, so we've got Whitlock. Wow. Okay, right out of the gate. It's funny. You see this classic style of Simon Whitlock going trip. Uh, trip 20, trip 18, uh, 19 over the 18. So not the ideal strategy start right. for Simon, but well, And that's what I was getting ready to get right into is like, you know, this is what's, I mean, European tournaments, 501, you know, we do a lot of the cricket here in the States. You know, of course, Jules is going to be able to coach uh, Mr. Whitlock on and tell him what to do, but it's still going to be interesting. Of course, Jeff Smith knows how to play cricket with the best of them. Oh, he definitely does. He uh, had a great match against Danny Baggish in the uh, Seacoast Open 2021. I think that's what makes Jeff so dangerous and, and for this group pairing is um, he's going to be a mastermind on his team, and you got Jules being a mastermind on his his team. Is See, Simon's didn't – once right there we just seen that Simon missed the 20s. Yeah, he so – He was thinking the 18s. Jules gives him a little tap on the shoulder says, hey, those are closed. So – you see right off the bat, some of these PDC guys are going to have a little struggle today here playing the cricket. It's a different beast than that 0-1 game. I will say Jules did kind of have the same thing until he really got on the U.S. tour and started making making runs, started understanding the game and stra strategy to it. I'm going to tell you this much. I mean, I know Jules is playing the PDC, but if you've really seen his cricket this last six months of the year, it's been fantastic. Jeff Smith looking to attack these 17s. Wants at least a triple if he can manage. He's just going to be three singles. That's quite all right, though. All right, here comes Simon. See a look at that. He's uh, going to go throw. out in the 19s. So he's counting. He's thinking about taking a shot at that 17, and he does. Great hit there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, normally I'd be like, all right, I want to throw another 19, give it to Jules, but I'm Simon Whitlock. Goodbye, well, 17. <laughs> well, that's the thing. They've got the house lead. Might as well take your chances at it. Three 16s for Will. This is the manager of Jeff Smith. The we manager. Wanted to, we wanted to say that. Kind of cool that they're getting a chance to play together. So if I am Jules in this situation with a, a player that doesn't play a whole lot of cricket, you know, on a very limited scale, I'm going to do a lot more putting up points and helping um, Simon go after closes a little bit more comfortably. Well, I did want to just say this because uh, we're going to hop on over and do this one real quick. You think there's some people that want to watch this match? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely quite a few. It's, it's great to see a little group there. Uh, watching these folks is maybe they don't get the chance to watch a PDC professional or numerous PDC professionals throw a dart or two. So Not a big turn there. Unfortunate darts there for Will. Jules looking to take advantage, attack these 15s, close them out. Just needs the three now. So one, two, three. Singles will do. Sometimes you're just okay with just a couple of singles. I think Simon's not going to have an issue going for the Bulls next <laughs> next nah, time. Nah. So we all know Simon and his Bulls. I wonder how the boards can look when Simon's done. Uh, I have. I want to take a peek at those points. Is what I want to do. And right at the start, it's a double. Uh oh. I'm surprised that last one ended up outside. Well, you know, it's crazy because he didn't even flinch that it bounced out. That's the experience of the player. Some players will drop their head. I'm like, oh, my God. I think Jules is pretty, pretty confident now with his uh, partner. And he's going to take out the first leg. 
those that didn't know, William Stewart here uh, alongside me, Mr. Ryan Mooningham. Thanks for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. We hope you enjoy this recorded match. It's a 25 there for Jeff. A 25 for Jules. So pull and redo. I'm going to move the whole. Ah, it looked like it. <laughs> May have to make an adjustment now. We'll see. It's in there. That'll work. That will work. Just to give you an idea, it's doubles cricket today. Uh, race to two. They will cork all their legs. We've got uh, Jeff Smith, Will uh, Lazar, taking on the J Dutch Dragon, Jules Van Doggen, and the Wizard, Simon oh. Whitlock. So can the silencer silence them? Will the manager smash it? Our board angle there. Simon's going to try to attack these 20s. Now, we're, we're going a little lopsided on our strategy here. <laughs> uh, you know. They're looking for anything they can hit right now, I believe. There's two 19s that go ahead and close that bed. Jules will step in, go ahead and attack these 20s, put some points on the board. You would assume. You only manage this three, but it is the advantage to force Jeff into at least two 19s. Yeah, Jeff's going to close. Yeah, closes with the last dart. Big <clears> hit. <throat> Jeff's going to have to play a little bit of aggressive. Scoring power will definitely be on the Van Doggen Whitlock edge. <clears throat> Maybe our 20 won't be so bad since Simon's playing cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. We're not going to see that uh, big tear up of the 20s, we, s we assume. I wonder how hard he throws. Because, you know, look at a lot of, there's a big nine, there's a big seven right there. <clears throat> Indeed, puts him in good position. <clears throat> a lot of those PDC players throw that dart really, really hard. Jeff taking a shot at the 18s when he could. <clears throat> Let's see what Simon does here. Simon will need to stay on the 18s for at least two turns. <clears throat> now he'll stay the whole, whole route there. There we go. Tough turn for Will, the manager. Dong and choosing to point a little bit more before taking a shot at the 17s. I, I, if I was in Jules' spot, oh, um, yeah, for I would sure. be doing all the pointing well, and let Simon be comfortable with the closing. With Jeff coming behind you instead of Will, I think that that's the smart move. Maybe Simon can take his chances here. It's, it's definitely apparent Jeff is is the better player here. Of course, he's the pro versus the manager. <laughs> but it's still pretty, pretty cool that they're getting the opportunity to play with each other this uh, weekend. Pretty neat. Oh, just out on the bottom of there for, for Van Doggen. Dragon only man manages two. I see Jeff Smith smashing the 17 real quick and closing that 18. That 18 will be goodbye. Takes a quick check of the scoreboard he before going down. 16. He was yep. like, I didn't have enough points to move. Van Doggen did not like that first dart. Will Lazar. It's actually not a bad strategy move. 
16s and 15s will give you an advantage versus chasing down that 17. However, he did have to go back and score to at least put some pressure on Jeff. The factor is that Jeff is so good on the 17s. It's actually a number he uses a lot to produce checkouts. Mm -hmm. Yep. He also switches to that on the uh, Instead of going to the 19 route, sometimes he'll elect to go with the 51 instead. Oh, good, good shot there. I do like having two houses versus one. In a situation when it's the bottom of the board. See, now if I'm Will, I'm only gonna do one thing. I'm gonna put up a bunch of points to give advantage back to Jeff. Oh, 48. And that 17 is now gone. So four on the 16s. The 17s is closed. Smith has no choice now for the bull. I really like that 15-16 pickup against that 17. It's played, played a good role for him. Not the ideal dart. That's going to be tough to work around, but he manages to hit a double with the last. See if Simon can end this here. Just one more, Three. and he gets it. Good game, gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Kudos nice to, to them. See, uh, three card holders up there in the middle of a match. Thank you to Jacob Southern for chalking. Indeed, indeed. Thanks for uh, that one.